Okay, a new section, section 6.3 on volumes of revolution, discs, and washers. Okay, so what we're going to do, volumes of revolution, in this section, uh, we are going to concern ourselves with volumes of regions that look like the following. So let's say that we have some function here. Let's call this f of x. And here is A, and here is B. And so we're going to look at, we're going to suppose that we take this region right here. It's the region under F of X between A and B. And let's say that we rotate it around uh, the X axis. That's what we're going to concern ourselves with in this section. And so uh, what, what's going on here? The picture is going to look something something like this here. This, so we are, let me just give it a little bit of texture, a little bit of shading here. This, this is the volume of this, this weird region. That's what we're aiming for. Okay, so how do we attack this? Well, so, so let's go back to... Let's go back to this thought here from the previous section. Volume, we're going to look at volume as the area, as sorry, as the integral of cross-sectional area. So if we have, have the areas of cross-sections, we can integrate those cross-sections to find overall volume. It, integrating areas give us, gives us volume. And so before we we're kind of thinking of this as horizontal cross sections, we're integrating respect to y. We're going to treat this a little bit differently because now we're going to have vertical cross sections here. Those are going to look like, well, we slice, slice, slice a typical cross section here. That's going to look like a circle when we slice that. And so I'm going to kind of take this vertical cross section and, you know, rotate it around. Well, what can we say about this? So here is f of x. What's the area of this? Well, area of a circle is going to be pi times f of x, the radius squared. So really what we're going to be doing here is that we're going to be adding up lots of these areas of circles to get volume. So we're going to be integrating the area of circle to get to, uh, areas of our circles to get volumes. So f of x, we can also just think of, of the radius r. And so putting all of these thoughts together, we have the following uh, formula here. So, so here's our first big thing in the section for finding the volume of revolution using the disk method. So if we have a continuous function that is non-negative between A and B, then the solid up obtained by rotating a region under the graph about the x-axis has volume. So here what we're doing is we are integrating from A to B of pi times the radius squared, and we said that the radius there is f of x. Um, so this, is, this looks just like that, where the A is pi times f of x squared, and that's using that formula right in there. Pi is a constant, so we can move it outside of our integral. So this is our first big formula in this section. Let's do an example with this. So let's find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating the region bounded by, um, bounded by those four curves about the x-axis. Okay, so first off, what is this region? So x is equal to 1, x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1 over x squared, and y is equal to 0, that's just the x-axis. So this is the region that we are rotating around. So after we do it, you know, this is the, you know, this is the sort of, of shape we're finding the volume of. 
And, and so all we have to do is plop stuff into this formula and integrate. Okay, so what do we end up with? Uh, we end up with v is pi times the integral from, so x running from 1 to 2, uh, and f of x here is 1 over x squared. And we need to square that. Okay, so uh, what do we get when we carry out this calculation? 1 over x squared, all that squared is x to the minus 4th. The integral of x to the minus 4th, no need for integral sign anymore, is x to the minus 3 and divide by minus 3 and plug in 1 and 2. So it's minus pi over 3 times uh, 1 over 8 minus 1 over 1. And so that is minus 7 eighths. So we end up with 7 pi over 24 as our final answer. So that is the first thing for us to do in this section. Uh, so once again, here is the disk method summary. Uh, in the next set of videos, we will take a look to see what happens if we change up the bottom along with changing some other things.